You're listening to Jenny's Real Talk on the Block with Jennifer DeVoe, only on L.A. Talk Radio. Oops, itchy trigger finger. <laughs> Welcome all my entertainment holics out there in Radio Land. It is time yet again for another thrilling, exciting installment of, you guessed it, Jenny's Real Talk on the Block, coming at you live each and every Wednesday on LA Talk Radio Channel 1 at 3 to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, only on LA Talk Radio. <laughs> we are also rebroadcast or also featured on iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Spreaker, SoundCloud, Sonos, Google Play, Amazon Alexa, and soon to be on Spotify. Yeah. Yeah. This is your hostess with the most is Jennifer DeVoe, host of Jenny's World Talk on the Block, and my wonderful co-host, business partner, and a.k.a. The Husband. The Husband. JJ. What's News. up, baby? What's up, JJ? It's not the temperature. Fuck no. It's cold. Shit. Fucking cold as fuck. And this is Los Angeles. I don't know what the hell's going on. We got a cold snap coming in from the mountains or some fucking crap. I don't know. It's gloomy and shit. I don't like it. It's overcast, crappy. If if you guys could, you know, like see out the window right now. I know you're looking at us uh, on the video. And feed. we appreciate that. Really, we do. Yeah. So go to Facebook Live. Uh, go to Facebook, actually, and go to the LA, LA Talk Radio uh, page, right? And you can watch the video of this live feed right now. Uh, that you're, you can also listen to. You can hear the guests call in. You can hear the music mm. that's played, um, same as everybody else. But you can also watch us. Yeah. So if you like to go to the video feed, go to Facebook. Uh, go to the LA Talk Radio uh, LA Talk Radio page, and you can watch us right now while we're sitting here vaping. We like vaping. <clears throat> You're vaping. Okay, well, here. Now you can vape. Thank you. See? There you go. Okay. You sharing, get smart. Sharing You're is, smart cookie. Sharing is caring. Absolutely. And we care for each other. Yeah. Yes, we do. I like to care for you in other ways. But right now we're on the air. <laughs> that might not be appropriate. <laughs> that would be a good show, though. People might actually call. <laughs> 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 oh, it's Triple X on LA Talk Radio. <laughs> That's the porn of hook. And it's not, and it's not just, uh, it's not just, um, and was it, uh, what's her name? Show, uh, Amber Lynn's show. <laughs> Un, um, uncensored or something. Unse- it's, uh, she's, uh, man, she's still a good looking woman. It's a good looking woman. When did you come in on the show? Um, I, I texted her actually, finally. <coughs> I'm just waiting to hear back from her loveliness. So anyway, <coughs> uh, we like yeah. to, we like to get different people types of people on our show. So, All kinds. Um, this is an entertainment based show. So Jenny's real talk of the block. If you are <coughs> like an author, artist, um, celebrity, band, musician, uh, author, whatever you are, uh, if you are in the entertainment industry, if you're a director and you have a movie coming out. You have uh, any kind of project coming out that you want to talk about. You are an inspirational speaker. Uh, we've had the NFL on our show. WWE has been on our show. We've had many different organizations yes. and types of bands. Different we don't, genres and, of music. Yes, many different genres of music. We don't just do rock. Uh, that is my other show, Jenny's Real Rock, R-A-W-K. You can find that on Rock Rage Radio. Uh, every Friday night, 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And, of course, we're on live every Wednesday uh, for Jenny's Real Talk of the Block. Right now. Right Thank now. You. Right now. So you can see us every Wednesday. Uh, tune in. We are on, um, go to LA Talk Radio Channel 1. Uh, and you can download the app, the LA Talk Radio app, and um, listen to Channel 1. And, oh, we're also rebroadcast uh, every Friday night from 6 to 7 p.m. Pacific okay. Standard Time, uh, which is 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time for all our East Coast fans and listeners and family. Right. Hi. Because Jenny's from Maine. Uh, who would have thunk it all those years ago? I was born in a, a northern Maine border town to Canada, and I would move to right. California 
decades later to marry a man from South Central. <laughs> a pure lily white bitch with a... <laughs> <laughs> who grew up in, you know, in a middle class fucking family and shit. Uh, and, then, and then I meet a man from, a black man from South Central. Yes. Very interesting. You, we're never boring. We, Fuck no. Shit we, is always, we're we're always, always, we're always doing something. Always. <laughs> About five minutes, our guest will call in today. We are featuring uh, a new band. They've only been out since about November, maybe. Oh, yeah, uh, really? But, but they're getting ready to... Re- they're releasing, actually. They're, um, they're debuting their debut single, their first song, on Jenny's Real Talk on the Block today. Yeah. They're uh, releasing it to the public tomorrow. So you can find it on, I believe it's... So this is a world premiere? Uh, world, this is a world premiere. Yeah. World premiere. Uh, it is... World premiere. What is it? They are on... Let's see. They're going to be on Spotify. Mm-hmm. Let me check it out. Uh, you can get the song. Hold on. Let's find out. Got Fate Destroyed. So the band is Fate Destroyed. Uh, but if you go on Facebook, it's um, F-A-T-E, and then space, obviously. D E. Capital S, T R O Y E D. So destroyed, but with a capital S in the middle instead of normal. So <clears throat> fate destroyed. It's going to be out tomorrow on May third. So Thursday, May third. Okay. It'll be released on iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. So go and check it out. Uh, their song debut single is, gonna, is called "Break Free." Uh, it's a really good song. I listened to it um, this morning after they sent it to me. Really, really, really great. Um, thanks, uh, Ben Levy, for um, sending me that. Uh, I don't know if I said Levy. Levi. Levi. L-E-V-I. Le- Levi. Oh. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Well, Levy is, I think, L-E-V-Y. That's why I didn't want to say it wrong. But uh, he sent me the song this morning. Okay. He's um, part of the group part or the he's group. the manager, yeah. manager or something? Yeah. So uh, let's see. It is The band is made up of, so it's Fate Destroyed, and it's our buddy. Um, let me see. Where is this? I need to see About. What's About? I want to see About. A boot. A boot. God damn it. Let me see it. Fate Destroyed <laughs> is a boot. A boot. <laughs> a boot. Oh, here we go. I hate that one. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, navigate on Facebook, and it's irritating me. So, <clears throat> it's a, uh, they're a metal band. Okay. And the lead singer's name is Francesca De- Destruct. And she is the one calling. Like, Destruct. Like, Destruct. I thought it was awesome. Destroyed cool. by Destruct. Yes. Uh, I think her name, actually her name is uh, Francesca Alexander. No, I was asking. She was she's yeah. the one that's calling in today. Yes, yeah, she's the one that's calling today. So leads, right. that's the lead singer, Francesca. And then uh, there's Johnny Law. Oh, I like that. <laughs> uh, ben De La Torre and, and Nathan Youngblood. Oh. So Nathan Young. So it's uh, four of them? So Nathan Young, um, oh, or Nathan Youngblood, um, is uh, part of, is uh, owner of Youngblood Productions, yeah, which we will talk about that. They're going to be on, uh, we're going to the, an event tonight uh, that we have been working on um, with Nathan. Uh, and it's uh, Va- the Vans Warp Tour yeah. uh, 2018. It's the Battle 4. Battle 4 Vans Warp Tour 2018. So uh, Battle of the Bands, we're judges. Uh, so go check it out tonight at Five Star Bar in downtown Los Angeles. And uh, you can go check that out. It's on 3rd and Main. Yes, 3rd and Main in downtown Los Angeles. Um, and you can come hang out with us. Yeah. Come watch the bands. There's going to be a, a bunch of really good bands tonight. Uh, I'll, I'll have to go check. I'll get the lineup for you here in a second while we're uh, you know doing this. But uh, they're gonna call in. We're gonna, you know, talk to her Not a little bit good. about, yeah, a little, uh, a little bit about the band and, you know, how it got started and, uh, you know, just a little bit about them and what's going on with that. Mm. And then uh, we'll play the song. Okay. Break free. I believe this is hopefully her. Let's see if this is her. Hello, you're on the air with Jenny's Royal Talk on the Block. Hi. 
Is this, this Frances- is Francesca? Yes. Hey. Hello. We were, expect- <laughs> we were expecting you. Hi. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> good it's going good. How are you guys doing today? We're doing just lovely, and we're happy that you're on the air with us. I'm happy to be here. Happy to be here. Yes, we're on the live radio broadcast. Woo, we love it. Worldwide. Yes, and uh, (laughs) we're excited to premiere you guys' song today. Yes. So um, I think I might be more excited than you guys, actually. I think you probably, I think you probably, (laughs) I think you probably are, you know, and and, and with, with, with good reason, because... Oh my God! I listened to the song this morning after Ben sent it over to me, and uh-huh. wow, I was very thank you. I was very impressed. I was like, Oh my God! Well, it, you immediately reminded me of um, like Amy Lee from Evanescence and um, Maria Brink from um, In This Moment, like that kind of a sound. I think that's- I think that's probably a, a pretty good approximation. I'll take that. That's a compliment. <laughs> oh, wow. Good. I find, I find that a lot of times, you know, female fronted music, it's either very singy and melodic, which is beautiful, and I love that. And then there's also stuff that's super screamy, like Arch Enemy, which I also like. And I really mm. was intending to sort of bridge the gap because you can have stuff that's beautiful and melodic and also stuff that's really aggressive, too. Right. I agree. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. So uh, how long have you guys had the band? Like, how long has this all been going on? Well, the original incarnation of the band was under a different name, and I started that back in, like, 2016, and then it kind of had to go on hiatus a little bit. But um, the band, as it stands now, we started working together in 2017. So things are just getting moving, and it's, it's been really exciting to get the music video together for this song and to, you know, get everything in motion, rehearsals and all that good stuff. Mm, that's good. Um, so how, so who wrote the song, uh, Break Free? Me. <laughs> oh, oh, that that's was awesome. Me. Um, I, well, I can't take completely all the credit. So I wrote the demo version of the song. I wrote the lyrics. I did the guitars, the bass. Because before I was singing, I was a bass player. Um, mm-hmm. I still am a bass player. But, I saw that on Facebook, um, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so I, I I put the track together and then I got to work with somebody who's really amazing. His name is Carlton Boss. He oh, um, is the Carlton. guitar player for a band called Orgy. Orgy. We know. Yeah, we, I know. We, we're friends with them. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see them next Friday at the um, at the whiskey. Me too. Carlton is like my brother from another mother. He's, uh, like, like, <laughs> Carl, my, he's been on the show. And, and, yeah. Carlton was on our show. <laughs> Carlton was on our show in March for our one year anniversary episode. Yes. And then they were on our show well, last he year. Well, produ- he produced the song. Oh, so, I love, we love Carl. So I, I wrote it. Good. I brought in my demo version. And he Good was man. like, well, that's cool, but you know what else we could do? Yeah. And he, so he really helped man. me to good, bring it good. to the level where it is now. So. He's a good man. He's a good person. He's a good uh, good person to work with. Yeah. So you're going to, yeah. For sure. Yeah, he's a good dude. We, we're very excited to see them next Friday. Yes, we are. Yes. Me too. I'll be there. Hey, I can meet you guys. I'll yeah. Be yeah. We, uh, we should get pictures <laughs> and a, and a, and a uh, radio drop yeah. at, at that time. So uh, yes. Maybe an interview? I'm down. A re- audio interview, maybe? Well, we're going to be hanging out backstage with you guys upstairs on the third floor. Ooh. In the, Ooh. In the, in the back space where nobody knows. I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> it's way up I, there. But I, we, yeah. I love the dressing. I love the yeah. dressing room at the whiskey. It's it, like, I don't know. It's one of those moments where I remember the first time I ever played the whiskey. I stood there and I was like up in the you know backstage area, which is upstairs in the back. And I thought to myself, like, holy crap! Like, so many famous bands have been in this space right here paving the way for what we're doing right now like i don't know it's a really surreal intense experience you like <clears throat> walk by the whiskey go go and see your name on the marquee well not my name but the band name on the marquee and you know it's it's cool it is cool because a lot of big people have played there <laughs> like great uh, motley crew and guns and roses and a bunch of others in the door metallica doors. the doors yeah Ooh. <laughs> that place is like a legend definitely i think we cover more uh, concerts there than anywhere else. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely our big venue. Uh, everybody knows us there. We walk out. We we weren't there for a little bit, and then we got we came back, and the door guy was like, "Where the hell did you go? <laughs> I haven't seen you in forever." <laughs> they all know us yeah, though. Sure. Like, and then of course you know one of the other you know guys who works there. Uh, he's always like, "Okay, where's the weed?" <laughs> <laughs> 
Where's the weed? I know, I know. You probably have it with you somewhere. No, I left it in the car, I swear. <laughs> Uh, well, now that's not an issue, right? No, of course not. <laughs> well, you still can't bring it in there, though. So, I mean, they, they still yeah, have it. Yeah, they still sure. kind of, they don't like that. But but uh, we love our guys. We love our people at the Whiskey. Really nice. Well, I'm hoping, I'm hoping if things work out well, which all signs point to yes, that, you know, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that our band, my band, Fate Destroyed, can open at the Whiskey at some point. Because, I mean, a lot of my friends play there, and I don't know, I think it would be a good time. I don't see why you can't. I don't see why you can't. <laughs> I, we, we've seen so many damn bands there; it's ridiculous. And if they can, if all these other people can be on the bill, I don't see why you guys can't. Because um, I like the sound. The song was really good. I liked. Uh, I liked how it sounded. Well, that's definitely a plus. It'd be bad if you know you had me on your show and you're like, "God, this song is horrible." <laughs> <laughs> Secretly in my mind, though, I'm like, Nathan owes me later. <laughs> He's going to have to buy me, like, an eighth of weed just to get me over this. No, I'm just kidding. Some <laughs> private reserve. No, no. I already knew anything that Nathan brought to me would not be crap. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, that's good, yeah. He, I mean, was, he's with, been... he was with Dirty Machine, which is our buddies. You know what I mean? He was he used to be with Dirty Machine. So, you know, we know what, I mean, what level he's at. You know what I'm saying? That guy works hard, man. He yeah. works really hard. He's, plus, you know, plus we're he's super on it. Yeah, and plus we're judges for the Battle of the Bands with him um, tonight, uh-huh. tonight and tomorrow night. So that's in downtown LA, right? Yep, yes. yep. Oh, it's no, gonna third, be a, third yeah, main. Gonna be a good time. I good time. <laughs> I bet I can't even imagine like what judging something like that is like because you know I mean how do you it's hard for me how do you judge music I don't know it's really difficult. But I like I just look at it as like, is the band ready to you know what I mean? Or because some people are just like a garage band and that's all they're ever going to be. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they don't Definitely. have they they don't want to ever really you know elevate above that. So they're just not going to go there. You just but you can tell by technical like if their timing is off. If they're you know what I'm saying? You got to. Hold on, I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. No, yeah. what are you saying? No, I kidding. listen. I listen to a lot of different things. Like, and let's say, um, okay, if I can't understand a word you're saying, I mean, I understand like screamo. Okay, you, that, that it wasn't meant for you to really understand what they were saying anyway, <laughs> pretty much. But so I, I just kind of just whatever <laughs> on that one. Yeah, I go with them. I go more so on the sound, okay. like in the right. technical quality of the music, uh, their stage presence, like how. How big do they get the crowd? Do they get the crowd pumped up? Do they get people going? Because that's a big thing for long, longevity in the business is if um, you don't have any followers, you don't have anybody listening to you or going to your concerts. I mean, it's just kind of what, what are you doing it for? So, <laughs> Yeah, for sure. And I mean, you know, building that hype can be a difficult process, but it becomes a lot easier when you have a quality stage show, you know? When yeah, you show up exactly. And, and you can blow people away. Yeah. And people are like, holy crap, did you see this opening band? Like, wow, exactly. they're great. So that's, and then they're going to look at I'm, you guys and be like, oh, okay, well, these guys are on a whole nother level and we need to really take them serious. You know what I mean? And the sound quality, <laughs> when I heard the song, was it sounded like it was, especially where it was done by Carlton Bost. Come on, that man is one of the most technically perfect. Like he's a perfe- oh, I know. he's a perfectionist when it comes to music, and that is how I I knew as soon as I heard uh, Nathan say that Carlton was a part of the project, I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, this is going to be good. It's well, it's funny because good. the band, the way that I met Carlton is I played bass in the other band that he plays in, uh, The Dreaming, which you know. Oh is yeah, the, the Dreaming, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so I played in the Dreaming for a long time, and that's how I met Carlton. And then, you know, I came to him and was like, oh, I want to start my own band. And here's, like, this thing I have. And he was like, here's something for your birthday. I'm going to help you produce this song. And so... Oh, that's awesome. Wow. It's been, like... <laughs> it's been super dope. And, and, and I appreciate the, his attention to detail because I kind of get stuck on small details sometimes. But I think it's important, you know, especially when you're giving your first impression to a listening audience. You want to make sure that it's the absolute best that it can be, you know. People are going to assume that you're as big as you sound you are. So if you come out with a really nice, professional, well done, you know, great production quality song, then people are going to say, okay, these people care enough to take the time to do it right. I, I like that. You know. Do you guys have anything, like, you know, because I haven't seen you guys on stage yet, and I'm, I'm very, ex- you know, very uh, excited to see that. Like, I can't wait till you guys, you know, are on stage and I get to actually see that. 
That would be cool. But Me I neither. Like, what do you? <laughs> what, have wait. you? What have you thought about? What is your stage performance going to be like? Do you have like any kind of a? Um, well, I have. You know how I everybody's got their ideas. own thing, like their own props, their little things, their little gimmicks, their things that they do with the crowd, like uh, Jay Gordon of Orgy. Uh, especially when he goes to sing Blue Monday at the end, he always goes down into the crowd and has them sing with him. See what I'm saying? So like you got to, you know what I mean? You got to have like something that kind of sets you apart to make people go, oh, geez, I got to come back and see well, these guys again. You know what I mean? I won't be the first person to do it, but I'm going to take sort of a page out of Gene Simmons' book and I breathe fire, Ooh. so maybe yeah. that would be hot. Now that would be hot. <laughs> that would be hot. That would be hot as hell to see yeah. a hot chick, a hot metal chick breathing, breathing fire. fire. Yeah, that, all that is hot. All that. Man, yeah. Whole, We'd a be, hot chick with yeah, that fire, would, that would be, fire. Yeah, that would make me come <laughs> back. playing hot music, all that shit yeah, sounds it hot make, in the motherfucker. Yeah, it would make, like I hell would come hot, back. like hot is yeah. motherfucker hot hell like a motherfucker. <laughs> I would come back. I would so maybe see that'll that again. be part of my gimmick, yeah, yeah. for sure. I would definitely. I, I would be down for that one. That's cool. I like it's that. Fun. It's fun. I we got like to a long freaks. time ago. I got to um, <gasps> the first time that Rob Zombie's Great American Nightmare thing happened. I got to. Um, I was working with this band, and I got to do like a fire breathing set on Halloween for like to open for the whole thing that happened. And um, <laughs> it was really interesting because. Nobody in any way expected that I was going to do what I was going to do because I was just like one single person who walked on stage and lit a torch on fire. And they're like, what is this person going to? And then I started like breathing fire over the crowd as the band started and everything. And they were like, That's cool. I don't know. It was a really cool experience. So I definitely want to incorporate that into my life. Show. That would be awesome. I was just I had this, I had this thought. I had this thought when you were talking about that. And I said and I thought about circus freaks. And I was like, oh, I actually know some circus freaks. Yeah, like literally, they were at the uh, Knot Fest. They were they were at Knot Fest in November. They were um, that's super dope. Yeah. yeah, but I thought that would be really cool. Like you, you'd be breathing fire, and then you got people on the side of you doing like crazy shit. You know, like you know, <laughs> like hardcore circus stuff. You know. Yeah, definitely. And in the video that's coming out soon, which was I have to give him credit as well Matt Zane he's done so oh, many really amazing we love videos. Matt Zane from Society One yeah. what up Matt Zane yeah. TV Carlo <laughs> I'm sorry sorry but sorry they've been on our show too love, we love yeah. we love Matt Matt's very um, he's very good at what he does he's very good very good his at energy videos. level yeah. to me is unreal like I've never mm. met anyone who like has that much energy when we were shooting the video um, it took, a, I mean, of course, you know, these things take time and especially because part of the video and how this ties into circus stuff is, um, there are definitely some hooks and flesh and pulling involved oh, and yeah. the music video is pretty cool. I'm, I'm super stoked about to come out, but, but yeah, so, um, I can't wait to see it. That, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I'm excited for it to come out yet. I don't have, we don't have an exact release for that yet, but I'm thinking it's going to be later this month. You know, just trying to get all my ducks in a row. So cool. I yeah. Know. I'm very excited about that. She's talking about I love that we all have the same friends. How dope is that? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> we all run in the same circles and stuff. I know. Huh? <laughs> yes. From um, being a city of like 10 million people, it sure seems pretty small sometimes. Right? I know, right? It's nuts. Well, in our industry, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us travel in the same circles. You know what I mean? But, but even <laughs> sometimes, like, they don't know. Like, um, sometimes, like, I don't know if you know who Allison Cohen is from, like, Metal Bay Mayhem. She's a rock journalist. No. Okay. Well, she's a rock journalist, and she does, like, PR and promoting and stuff like that for um, bands, for, like, rock bands. Mm -hmm. So she's mm -hmm. definitely some of you guys. I should hook you guys up with her. Right. She's really good at helping um, bands get more exposure. She's a rock journalist, and she also does, um, she can maybe design... Uh, some rock wear and jewelry stuff for you because I think that'd be cool. Hey, that's super dope. Like a collaboration type of a deal. So, because I yeah, think I'm, like, always, I'm always down to work with women who, you know, do stuff <laughs> like who, who are involved yeah. in music or the genre or the scene or anything like that because yeah. I find a lot of times, you know, that women can be quite catty to each other. And so it's always really refreshing when you meet somebody else who, like, yeah. understands that it's not about that. It's not strictly unneeded. about competition. So it's so unneeded. I don't understand. As women, we should be there to lift one another up and to help each other and to grow, not 
to keep each other down and be competitive and be like, screw you, I deserve it, you don't. No, I, don't I don't like all that. It's enough about, like It's that. enough out there for everybody. So. It's enough to go around. Yep. So <laughs> no, I believe in helping people. Her. I believe in hooking people up with with different people. You know what I mean? Like uh, networking. Teddy and Briggs and, and Sasha Jewel. Oh, yeah. I could hook up with some, uh, a lot of people that could do some press for you. So, and PR. And help hey, you. I'd be down for that. I'll never turn down for that. <laughs> well, hey, our buddy Nathan, and it's for Carlton, and it's for Matt, and you. Yeah, and yeah so we're good. We're down. Well, well, you know what I mean. We're we're all in the sharing into sharing, you know, information. So, got a network. Got a network. It's the name of the game these days. You have to. <laughs> you know what I mean. I mean, I mean. I was gonna say it's not who you, who you know; it's who you blow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being funny. I'm being funny because you know <laughs> we have friends in the porn industry too. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some very interesting well, guests on our show. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Crossover. <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay. Um, well, what we're going to do is we're going to play the song. And Yay! We're, and we're going to put you on <laughs> and we're going to put you on mute while we do it. Though. Worldwide, worldwide, worldwide. Yes, worldwide premiere. World premiere. This is Break Free by Fate Destroyed. Get ready to enjoy, people.
that was awesome. Yeah. What <laughs> nice. Up? That was oh Francesca. Then I told you that's why I said Amy Lee of Evanescence and Mar- uh, Maria Brink of In This Moment. That's that was just <laughs> just amazing. Oh my god, that just like sent shivers down my spine. Yeah, you was over there rocking. That was really good. Yeah. I told you I told you that was fucking good. See, I wanted to surprise my husband to get an, an honest reaction from him. Like I didn't want to uh-huh. play it ahead of time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So I that's why he, I didn't let him listen to it till just now. Right. And, <laughs> but that's why but see that's he why He was I head like, banging, that's why I said, see. That's why I like uh but see I, I appreciate though. I don't never really listen to anybody's songs because I want to I, I want people to say my the honest reaction when I'm listening to it. Yeah. You know. I don't want to say, right. you know, because, you know, maybe people don't know or maybe they don't have access to, to this or something, you know. Man, the second I heard it this morning, when I, yeah. when Ben sent it over, I was like, yeah, I immediately started headbanging. Yeah. <laughs> she was talking about it when we were on the way up here. Yeah. Everybody was looking at me like, what the hell is she listening to? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. You know, yeah. It's I really think good. And anybody who puts out music knows how much of how much time and dedication and energy and effort it takes and how many times it goes wrong the first and second and fourth and hundredth time but oh, when you wow. finally hit that sweet spot man it's worth it have Ooh. you guys have you guys played live together yet i mean like live like on in, in on stage in front of people um well when the band had a different name and a different lineup yes i still okay. have my same guitar player from back then but okay. in this newest you know, representation of the band, not yet. Um, we've been working on, because we're going to put out an EP, hopefully, by the end of the year. Okay. Um, so that's been our main focus, that and, you know, trying to get, because for me it's super important, like you guys mentioned, to make sure that the stage show looks and sounds as amazing as possible, you know? Because that'll, right. that'll be what sets us apart from, like, just being a local band. So we've been working yeah. really hard, rehearsing pretty regularly to make sure everything is super tight and sounds great. So That's we'll cool. be looking looking to play shows soon. Hey, you got people like Carlton Bost and Matt Zane behind you. We're yeah, working you with you. <laughs> are gonna, you're going to be just fine. You know what I mean? You can, if you get perfectionists and people that are really good, I mean, I, I've been listening to Orgy since like 98, 99 when they came out. You know what I mean? And just these are they're great guys. They put on a hardcore show, and Carlton is a uh, you know is a good addition. You know, the, I knew like the li- new lineup for them. But me too. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I mean, I'm not saying anything bad about the old lineup. I'm just saying, you know, and, uh, <laughs> and always thanks to you know, always thanks to Jay Gordon, lead singer, right. and always thanks to all the guys. Um, and uh, I can never remember the name of the new drummer. I don't know why. This is driving me nuts. Rainin. Rainin. There we go. Oh, okay. He's a, uh, he's a friend of mine too. His dad's like super famous drummer. Oh yeah. What, who is his dad? I don't remember his name. His I don't remember what band he's in, but he's been in like some really like huge bands. So it's, I guess it's hereditary. I gotta check. He's it a out. good drummer. He's solid, dude. It's oh. cool because like. All of those guys are my friends, and especially because I spent years touring with Carlton when we were in the Dreaming together. It's, right, it's cool. I go, I go to almost every orgy show. I bring them. I love when they're on tour, and I'll like go to the show and just bring them like a giant thing of homemade brownies, and they're like right. annihilated before the show. <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd be funny if like we've crossed paths at an orgy show. <laughs> right, and, and, we did, probably and, have. Did, and didn't even likely. and didn't even know it. That's the funny thing. Because we go to all, we go to the, a lot of their shows. We went to the one at the Rose last year. Yeah. And then they had one in September at the Whiskey. We went to that. Okay. Uh, I did. You weren't there at that yeah. one. But I went to that one. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, we try to always be supportive. Well, and... You know. Sorry, go ahead. We, we try to always be supportive of the guys, you know, because uh, we, we love Lou Gordon, you know. Me too. He is, he's, he's got the dude. best stories in the world. He does. <laughs> and, he, and he always introduces me to everybody. Every time he's always like, oh, have you, did you meet this? Oh, here, here's this person and here's that person. And you need to deal with her. She's you know, has a radio show. You know, He's really cool. He's been always there for us. Yes, he's a really you know. nice guy. Yeah, they're good people. Mm-hmm. And we like good people. We love good people. I like good people too. <laughs> well, there's so many fakos, you know what I mean? Especially where we live in L.A., <laughs> 
You know what I mean? Big people in L.A.? No. No. <laughs> no. Never. <laughs> Never in a million years. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so yeah, Orgy's got a new song coming out. Army to your party. Which is awesome. I've, I'm pretty sure I've already heard it. Have you? Probably have. <laughs> You probably have. I've probably heard it a lot. You probably heard it a million <laughs> times. You've probably already heard it fifty big a billion times. No, but these. <laughs> it's 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 funny because when I go hang out with Carlton, I'll like throw like cause I ha- drive my car over there, and a lot of times I'll be like bumping orgy with the top down, and he's like, "Really?" And <laughs> ah, like, really that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, get over it, Carlton. Come on now. She's just being true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's being loyal. I'm like, don't write catchy albums, and I won't play them in my car. How about that? Ah, yeah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yes. Especially to the Talk Sick EP. Oh, that was badass. Yeah, that's the one. That's like that's the one I bump in my car like the most. Yeah. For sure. I lo- I just uh, featured them on my other rock sh- on my other show, Jenny's Real Rock on Rock Rage Radio. Mm-hmm. Um, I featured them on my show a couple weeks ago. I said, everybody secretly loves an orgy. <laughs> uh, that was the name of the title of the, of the episode, anyway. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Everyone secretly loves an orgy. <laughs> the title of the episode? Yeah, that was the title of my episode. Oh. I always come up with, with really stupid, crazy titles. But, um, so, <laughs> anyway, oh my god, my best friend just sent me a message, where are you at? You I'm know gonna, what? I'm gonna bitch slap her. I'm gonna totally no bitch shit. slap her. I'm gonna totally bitch slap her because oh. as my best friend, you should already know where the fuck I am. Every motherfucking Every Wednesday. Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Three to four PM. Anyway. <laughs> like as long as the friendship that's been going on. Well, see this jogged my memory to um email Lou Gordon <laughs> to remind him <laughs> to leave us passes. <laughs> to leave us stuff at the, at the front. Uh, he'll probably just he'll probably just show up at the front and and, and greet us personally anyway. But I'm gonna go. I gotta send. Uh, note to self: email Lou Gordon. This next Friday, right? <laughs> yes, next Friday the 11th. Okay. Don't forget, go see Orgy May 11th. Francesca will be there. Go check it out. I will be there. <laughs> yeah. Francesca right? destruct. The band, yes. the band that's opening for them, Scum Love. So Scum is my we A&R love guy. Scum and love. Also Carlson's A and R guy at We Schechter, love so. Scum Love. What up, Scummy? Hey, Scum Love. I just say, I just his new single's about to come out, and I sang yeah. background vocals on it. Oh so. shit! No mm. shit. Oh, I'd like to hear that. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't it's had a chance. Devil May Sing. I think it comes out oh. on the fifteenth. Because he's always inviting us to come see them play and I haven't had a chance to yet and it irritated me because I wanted to go see it. Oh, you'll get to see him in a skirt. Ooh, <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> Ooh, okay, now, now I really want to go. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I was going to go anyway. It wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> you can't keep me away from an orgy show. Man, they're one of my, they're, they're like seriously one of my, one of my favorite bands. So, I love going to see them every time. Especially yeah. when he plays uh, Blue Monday at the end and he gets down in the crowd and sings with everybody. I love it. It's funny because I always, I mean, because I always, Carlton always just already knows that I'm going to ask to go. And he's like, haven't you seen enough orgy shows? And no. I'm like, dude, I will come see you in no. Berlin. I will no. come see you play an orgy. I will come see you play anywhere Ugh. you play, bro. Dude, if I could afford to go to Berlin to see them, I'd be fucking happy. No, but I no, like I mean, when he played in Berlin. I know. I was being funny. I was being funny. Because oh. <laughs> our... <laughs> I was being funny because I I saw them play at the the Rose um, December of 2016, and um, when Berlin was there, right? And Carlton goes, "I saw you in the crowd." <laughs> I, saw, I saw you in the crowd. I didn't know it was him because he it was dressed different. You know, he's wearing it, much less makeup and a button up shirt then. Yes, and and he didn't have all the the arm you know netting and the. <laughs> You know how they dress their outfit where they have the arm uh, like stockings on their arm practically. You know, you know those uh, the ones he wears on his hand, his arm. Oh, I know, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So them in yeah. the dressing room is a nightmare. Yes, it <laughs> is. I know. I know. Especially when we were at the Rose last summer when they were there in June <laughs> last year. Oh my god, that was hilarious. They were all like sleeping. All I- <laughs> they were well, getting- I just mean like I'm. I'm pretty sure that combined they definitely have more makeup than i wear oh you know, make between on. makeup and the outfit and putting on the arm things all the stuff yeah, yeah. 
Hey, but you know what? It makes for a quality show, and it that's does. what makes it worth it. They're, they put on a hell of a show. Orgy's got a really good show. Uh, we love seeing them. Yeah. And that's why, like, I would never get sick of seeing them. I liked, um, <laughs> you know. And Berlin was awesome. So, like I said, anything Carlton ba- Bost is in, he's good to go. Right. It's good to go. I've not seen the dream. Yeah, he that. actually cool. he pl- when this band when Fate Destroyed was a different had a different name. It was just Destruct for a minute, but then I had to change that because it was too close to this German band name. But um, yeah. when I had the band before, um, he actually filled in on guitar for a couple shows, and I'm like, this must be really difficult for you to play like these tiny ass shows in these tiny ass venues when you're used to playing like big venues and big shows but you know he did, he gave it just as much care and attention as he would at any other time so no oh. which is good i just i like the fact that we were talking about that when he was on the show in march uh, about how he's a perfectionist so it's not a bad quality to have at all it means that your music no, is going to sound good no and it definitely meshes well with with me because I'm the same way so I'm I'm sure that my bandmates find that annoying sometimes but I don't know I'm like <laughs> hyper detail focused about ah this one thing is weird and off and I don't like it and so let's do it again a hundred more times <laughs> that's why your product comes out great right that's why that's what's going to set you apart from being just a a local like a, I, I always call it like a garage band type you know what I'm saying I'm not saying they are but you know what I mean like some local bands, they're, that's pretty much all they're really ever going to be. They're just, they just, I don't know. Some people are just, they just want to play music. They don't really want right. to be like huge and sell millions of records and nope. all that stuff. Damn Everybody's reason. different. Everybody's got their own reason why they're, they're in it or doing it. For sure. And I think one thing that has to be said about, you know, any musician at all is that nobody, anyone who who comes into this, like, and just wants to, I don't know how to explain it, like, you have to really want it in any capacity, whether you're just playing local shows or if you want to be big or whatever, it takes so much more time and energy than I think anyone really realizes unless they're doing it, you know, unless they're Mm. like in a band and writing songs because it's just it's so many hours writing new songs going into the studio going to rehearsals getting your mm. stage stuff together Dang. traveling to places it's, it's a lot but it's the worth touring, it in the end the touring everything yeah we talk to a lot of bands about that yeah. like bands that have toured you know like Orgy <laughs> or like Dirty <clears throat> Machine just toured with uh, ICP last fall so you know like mm-hmm. bands that have actually toured toured like we talk to them and be like you know, how do you, what do you think about this? Like, what did, you know, so they say it's very exhausting. You know I mean? It is. When I, when I was in, when I was in the Dreaming and that's the band that Carlton and I were, and I played bass and he played guitar, um, you know, we didn't do super long tours, but we slum it. You know, we're not like in a nice huge bus or anything. You know, when you're talking about four people in a, 15 passenger van for five weeks at a time right you know and it's like you have to go from here to there and we don't have crew so we're loading in our own gear and loading out our own gear and setting Mm. up the stage and you know chris loves to have all the lights perfect and all this stuff and Mm. it's like it's it's crazy to think you do all that you travel thousands of miles just to give people like an hour of something to enjoy and 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 just that hour is so worth it though right yeah right but, Ooh, you know. Yeah, it seems looks like yeah. I've I've seen a lot of stages getting put up, and you know, even before we started doing, you know, or going to shows and stuff, Jennifer. You know, when I was working on my, my last job, I used to see this all the time. You know, putting all the lights and the, the the speakers and all that stuff together, and the amps and all that. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, a lot goes into it. Mm-hmm. So. I can't imagine, like, I've seen, you know, documentaries when they talk about, like, when you're talking huge production shows, like when Metallica does an arena tour, oh, and, like, yeah. they have to basically build that entire set thing in one day and tear yep. it all down just yep. to go to the next city the next day. That yeah. is mind-blowing. Yeah. That's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Festivals. Yeah, a lot of work, a lot festivals. Of I mean, we saw just, like, the um, not OzFest meets NotFest this last November. It was just crazy. Yeah, just they had to build all the three stuff. stages. There's like four. Yeah, but they they, well, they had, had the, the big stage. yeah the main stage. And then yeah, they had three, they had to build yeah, three side stages. Well, that's just crazy. Plus all the vendors. Just, there's so much goes into everything. Yeah. So, 
I know. If you're ever going to do that kind of thing, you better really be willing to put the time in. <laughs> like, that was that was and, a lot of and money. And the money. <laughs> Lots of money. Yeah. I mean, no. I wonder what festival is going to sort of, you know, take over. And, of course, I have vested interest in this answer, but... What sort of festival is going to be, you know, isn't this the last year of Vans Warped Tour? Yeah, um, I believe so. Yeah. So, so I wonder what's going to take its place. I need to know. It's <laughs> a good question. It's going to be tough. Those are huge shoes there's to fill. A lot of, I mean, there's a lot of um, festivals out there. I just heard, just seen one, uh, a commercial for uh, somewhere in Manhattan Beach, I believe. Yeah, uh, Mumford or somebody, Mumford and Sons are going to be there, I believe, and someone else is called, it uh, sounds like Hawaiian name, on or something, Hawana. Uh, well, this is uh, different types of band than that. Oh. <laughs> this Vans Warped Tour is more like hard rock, it's, it's rock, more rock, hard rock, heavy metal type. Okay, yeah, noise. yeah. Not as like Mumford and Sons. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So different, different. I mean, I've heard the name before. So yeah, they're they're more folksy, rock like folksy. Oh, rock oh, type. oh, oh I, I, you know. I, I kind of understand. Yeah. What you're saying. yeah. Um. Well, we have only a few minutes left to go, and uh, but we've been speaking today with Francesca Destruct. Yes. Of Destruct. Destruct. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's how you t- tell the pronounce it to pronounce your name. Destruct. That's how you used to say it. What's your name? <laughs> Francesca you have, you Destruct. You have to do the metal claw, too. You have to be like, Destruct. Destruct. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> from, the pa- from the band, Fate Destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you see, there's, there's a trick in the name, because FDS, Fate Destroyed, Francesca Destruct, FDS. Yeah. Well, I like it. I like it's it. I like it. <laughs> it. We like chicks that rock. Uh, thank you so much today, Francesca, for speaking with us. Yay! And being on thank the show. you. And Great I, song. Thank you for playing my single. Yes, and yes, allowing. Yes. Thank you for allowing us to uh, debut your song today. Yes, we were we were very excited about that. Thank you. So, and uh, tomorrow, tomorrow you can get it on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, anywhere yes. you listen to music. So if you want to, you know, have a copy of it to yourself or and just you, stream you, it on Spotify or whatever, please, by all means. Heck yeah. So well, I, I have my own copy, but everybody else needs to go listen. Yes, tomorrow. Listen tomorrow. Tomorrow, May 3rd. You're going to yes. get it everywhere. Anywhere that you can get music like that. All of it. Yes, it's going to be good. So go check it out. Uh, Break Free by Fate, Fate Destroyed. Destroyed. So go get that tomorrow on your iTunes, Google Play, music, and your uh, Spotify. Yeah. Spotify. Spotify. $10 a month. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But, uh, yes. Uh, Thank you so much for being on the show with us today. We had a blast. This was a great interview. We We had so much. It was nice. It was like reminiscing. You know, oh yeah, talking yeah. About, talking about yeah. old friends. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm we call we uh, and tell them that I just yes, plug please do. You, you know, please do, <laughs> please do, and tell them that uh, we will see them next Friday. Yeah, and uh, we'll hang okay. out and we'll meet, and hopefully we get to see you as well. So, you will. All right. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good Bye, day. Bye, Talk to you later. Bye, bye. All right, that was Francesca Destruct from Fate Fate Destroyed, the heavy Mm -hmm. metal band. Uh, Shout out to Young Blood Productions. Shout out to Nathan Young. Nathan Young Blood. I don't know how you want to see (laughs) on on Facebook. He's a couple different things. Uh, We will see you guys tonight. You and Gonzo Dave, Gonzo W Dave. What's up, Gonzo? We will see you guys tonight. Yeah, and Heath uh, down at. The Five Star Bar in downtown Los Angeles. This is the Vans Warp Tour 2018, the last year of yeah. Vans Warp Tour. So come on out, check it out, check out the bands that are going to be there tonight. I know it's a Wednesday night in the middle of the week in Los Angeles, but come and fucking do something. Come out, hang out with Jenny and JJ from Jenny's Real Talk on the Block on LA Talk Radio Channel 1, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Spreaker, SoundCloud, Sonos. You're crunkling in the goddamn thing. You make me want to slap you because I just interrupted what I was saying. I heard crinkling. That's why I turned your mic off. You're not allowed. You're crinkling. I don't like crinkling in my mic. Anywho, (laughs) go see us next. (laughs) Go see us tonight. 
Go see Jenny and JJ tonight. <laughs> We're also on, you can also see me, Jenny from Jenny's Real Rock on Rock Rage Radio. We will be there tonight. Uh, we are judges for the Battle for Vans Warp Tour 2018. Mm-hmm. Uh, there'll be some great bands tonight in attendance. Come on out. Check it out. Uh, go to the, um, oh, let's see, what is it? Young Blood Productions page on Facebook. And you can see the lineup uh, for tonight. And also you can see it under, I think it says the Battle for Vans Warp Tour. Literally just type that into your Facebook. You can see the lineup for tonight's uh, show. And uh, this has been a great broadcast as always. Shout out to our buddies from Orgy. Shout out to Matt Zane of Society One. What a Carlton boss to Orgy. We will see you guys next Friday. It's gonna. It's been a blast as always, and uh, we will be, like I said, tonight and tomorrow night. So that's uh, Wednesday and Thursday. We'll be for the uh, judges for the battle of the bands. So come check it out downtown at the Five Star Bar. We'll see you later. It's been fun. This is your hostess with the mostest, Jennifer Devoe, and JJ, aka the husband. Bye bye. See you next Wednesday, three to four p.m. Pacific Standard Time. LA Talk Radio Channel One. Bye. Go to iHeart Radio and LA Talk Radio Channel One page to find us. Bye. Irreverent, entertaining, cool. You're listening to L.A. Talk Radio. You're listening to Ginny's Real Talk on the Block with Jennifer DeVoe, only on L.A. Talk Radio.